last tier, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> it cool. I put some new batteries in it. Later. Nice. Oh yeah. That's two. Fifteen? Yeah. All right. There you go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. And, uh, I'll let you know if I find anything I wasn't able to really look earlier. Okay, folks. So I just picked up this Game Boy Color Lime Green uh, off Facebook for 15 bucks. It did come with Frogger 2. Seems to be in very good condition other than it's just dirty and nasty. Um, what I mean in very good condition is the Game Boy Color sticker here is in good condition. The serial number on the back. I don't see any battery corrosion, battery corrosion on the uh, contacts in here. And the screen is not that bad. There are some scratches, but not too bad. So that, that's a screen that could definitely be reused. Uh, to open this, we're going to need a tri-wing screwdriver. There are six tri-wing screws. And those are going to be located right here in these four slots. And then there's two down here inside the battery uh, compartment. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Okay, so I've got all of these screws removed. We are simply going to take the back off. It is not attached with ribbon. And already I can see some rust. It does work, um, but we're definitely going to have to clean this up. Uh, there's rust down here. There's some rust here next to the volume rocker. Up here next to the IR sensors. So... In order to take this off, we've got three Phillips screws right here. We got one here, here, and then one down here. And then we need to separate the ribbon cable. And separating the ribbon cable is very easy. What you want to do, get you a little flathead screwdriver, and there's two tabs. There's one here, and you just lift up on it. And then there's another one right here and lift up on that and the ribbon should come right out just roll this back there we go now i'll remove the three phillips head screws and we'll be able to remove the board okay so with the three screws removed the ribbon cable removed we can simply lift up on the board and the underside looks pretty good other than I do see a couple of rust spots right here where um, the volume rocker, let's see if I can focus in on that, there we go, right in there. So we'll get that cleaned up, we'll drop some isopropyl, take a uh, toothbrush to it and go to town on cleaning that. Um, the button contacts look pretty good, not a lot of uh, corrosion or whatnot, the speaker needs to be cleaned up, we'll drop some... Um, some isopropyl down into this power switch and just overall see if we can get this in better working uh, better looking condition so with that removed we'll go ahead and take a look at the screen um, let's remove these membranes let's see if I can get this to focus better there we go and we pop those buttons out and there's the power switch uh, we got the power switch here, A and B button membrane, we've got directional pad membrane here, the um, direction pad button, and start to select membrane. Now <clears throat> we'll go ahead and remove this IR sensor um, tab right here that goes on the top. And now in order to get the Game Boy Color screen out, what you're simply going to do is just grab hold of the shell and give it a good twist back and forth. Not too hard. You don't. This uh, ABS plastic can take a, a good little twist on it, but all you're going to want to do is basically separate that screen from the adhesive. And doing this is a good way to do that. You just barely twist it. 
And now we want to get something behind that screen. I got my fingernail and we're just going to pop it out just like that. And there's the screen. Now there is some adhesive left behind. Uh, we're going to um, really give this, this shell a good once over in a hot soap bath. I see that this, uh, this adhesive is more than likely going to come off. So what I'm going to try to do is to remove it where it can still be reused. So let's set that aside. I'm going to grab my razor blade here and see if I can't get this adhesive removed. Come on. There we go. that corner and there we go so I should be able to put that back in and reuse that I'll set it off to the side and now we've got everything taken apart pretty much except for this shield and as you can see there are rust spots on the shield as well but we can get this cleaned up I'm gonna soak um, these rusted screws and some white vinegar and that shell or that uh, shielding and some white vinegar and get those rust spots removed. Okay, so I got the, uh, the back shell washed by hand. I've got the front part of the shell soaking in um, some soapy water as well as all the buttons and membranes. And what we're gonna work on now is the board trying to clean up some of that rust. So I've got some 91% isopropyl alcohol here. I've got a soft uh, toothbrush and let's just go to town on it. So the points I'm gonna be focused on are going to be uh, the IR sensor, uh, the link cable, and um, the volume rocker here. Okay, so got the board cleaned up as best as I possibly could. It looks a lot better. We'll go ahead and take a look at it though. You can see the, uh, the IR contacts look a lot better. Now this metal casing is still discolored. But what I was worried about was the actual contacts down here. And they look a lot better as well as the pins here. There is still some discoloring. But I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and I think we're going to be okay. So let's get this board and the screen reattached. And the board put back into the shell just temporarily so we can test to make sure that everything works. And the Game Boy screen comes on. Good old trusty Tetris. That way we can get some music going on it. Not extremely loud but we got volume and now I'm going to plug the head jacks in to make sure that the head jack works let's see that in my ear oh yeah working good okay so we got the front shell back from the bath the so, soapy water bath cleaned up very nicely very very nicely like I said there are you know some scratches on the 
on the screen cover but inside and outside all look really nice there's the battery cover and we got back the screws from uh, the white vinegar bath no uh, no rust and no rust on the cartridge shield so let's give this a good wipe down all right let's get this thing put back together all right so first thing we'll do is grab that adhesive okay there we go so I got that adhesive back on that little corner right there's not quite sticking but that's okay everything else is Just like that. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, let's get the uh, the buttons and the membranes back in. All right, they are all nice and clean. Doesn't really matter which way start select goes in. All right, now let's get the switch put back in the on off switch all right let's get this ribbon cable put back in there we go and we'll get that tab pushed down that tab pushed down there all right okay we got the Game Boy Color put back together it's looking great so let's pop some batteries in Give it one last test. Fires on. Let's put some Tetris in there. Fires right up. There you have it, folks. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, hit that thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon when you do. When you hit that bell icon, you'll receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. I'm Taddy Collector and have a good one.